Baku, Biku, Baku, Azerbaijani, Baki, IPA, BC is the capital and largest city of Azerbaijan, as well as the largest city on the Caspian Sea and of the Caucasus region. Baku is located 28 meters 92 feet below sea level, which makes it the lowest lying national capital in the world and also the largest city in the world located below sea level. It is located on the southern shore of the Absharan Peninsula, alongside the Bay of Baku. At the beginning of 2009, Baku's urban population was estimated at just over 2 million people. Officially, about 25% of all inhabitants of the country live in Baku's metropolitan area. Baku is the sole metropolis in Azerbaijan. Baku is divided into 12 administrative Bakus rayons and 48 townships. Among these are the townships on the islands of the Baku archipelago, and the town of oil rocks built on stilts in the Caspian Sea, 60 kilometers 37 miles away from Baku. The inner city of Baku, along with the Shirvanshah's Palace and Maiden Tower, were inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. According to the Lonely Planet's ranking, Baku is also among the world's top 10 destinations for urban nightlife. The city is the scientific, cultural, and industrial center of Azerbaijan. Many sizable Azerbaijani institutions have their headquarters there. The Baku International Sea Trade Port is capable of handling 2 million tons of general and dry bulk cargoes per year. In recent years, Baku has become an important venue for international events. It hosted the 57th Eurovision Song Contest in 2012, the 2015 European Games, 4th Islamic Solidarity Games, the F1 Azerbaijan Grand Prix since 2016, and will host UEFA Euro 2020. The city is bidding for Expo 2025 against Yekaterinburg, Russia and Osaka, Japan. The city is renowned for its harsh winds, which is reflected in its nickname, the City of Winds. Topic. Etymology Baku is derived from the Persian name of the city Bad Kub Bad Kub, meaning wind pounded city, in which bad means wind, and Kub is rooted in the verb quidan kabidan, to pound, thus referring to a place where wind is strong and pounding. Indeed, the city is renowned for its fierce winter snow storms and harsh winds. This is also reflected in the city's nickname as the City of Winds. A less probable folk etymology explains the name as deriving from Bagkai, meaning God's town. Baga now, Bog, and Ku are the old Persian words for God and Town. Respectively, the name Bagkai may be compared with Baghdad, God given, in which Dad is the old Persian word for give. Arabic sources refer to the city as Baku, Bakuk, Bakuya, and Bakuya, all of which seem to come from a Persian name. During Soviet rule, the city was spelled in Cyrillic as Baku in Russian and Baka in Azerbaijani. Nowadays, when Azerbaijan is using the Latin alphabet, it is spelled as Baki. Topic: History. Topic: Antiquity. Around 100,000 years ago, the territory of modern Baku and Absharan was savanna with rich flora and fauna. Traces of human settlement go back to the Stone Age. From the Bronze Age there have been rock carvings discovered near Baal, and a bronze figure of a small fish discovered in the territory of the Old City. These have led some to suggest the existence of a Bronze Age settlement within the city's territory. Near Nardaran, in a place called Umid Gaia, a prehistoric observatory was discovered, where on the rock the images of Sun and various constellations are carved together with a primitive astronomic table. Further archaeological excavations revealed various prehistoric settlements, native temples, statues and other artifacts within the territory of the modern city and around it. In the 1st century CE, the Romans organized two Caucasian campaigns and reached Baku. Near the city, in Gobustan, Roman inscriptions dating from 84 to 96 CE were discovered. This is one of the earliest written evidences for Baku. Topic: <inaudible> Rise of the Shirvanshahs and the Safavid era. Baku was the realm of the Shirvanshahs during the 8th century CE. The city frequently came under assault of the Khazars and starting from the 10th century, the Rus Shirvanshah Occitan I built a navy in Baku and successfully repelled another Rus assault in 1170. 
After a devastating earthquake struck Shimaki, the capital of Shirvan, Shirvansha's court moved to Baku in 1191. The Shirvan era greatly influenced Baku and the remainder of what is present-day Azerbaijan. Between the 12th and 14th centuries, massive fortifications were undertaken in Baku and the surrounding towns. The Maiden Tower, the Ramana Tower, the Nardaran Fortress, the Shagan Castle, the Mardakan Castle, the Round Castle and also the famous Sabail Castle on the island of the Bay of Baku was built during this period. The city walls of Baku were also rebuilt and strengthened. By the early 16th century Baku's wealth and strategic position attracted the focus of its larger neighbors. In the previous two centuries, it was under the rule of the in Iran centered Kara Koyunlu and Ak Koyunlu. The fall of the Ak Koyunlu brought the city immediately into the sphere of the newly formed Iranian Safavid dynasty, led by King Shah Ismail I r. 1501 Ismail I laid siege to Baku in 1501 and captured it, he allowed the Shirvanches to remain in power, under Safavid suzerainty. His successor, King Tamasp I r. 1524 completely removed the Shirvanches from power, and made Baku a part of the Shirvan province. Baku remained as an integral part of his empire and the successive Iranian dynasties to come for the next centuries, until the irrevocable session in the first half of the 19th century. The House of Shirvan, who ruled Baku since the 9th century, was extinguished in the course of the Safavid rule. At this time the city was enclosed within the lines of strong walls, which were washed by the sea on one side and protected by a wide trench on land. The Ottomans briefly gained control over Baku as a result of the Ottoman Safavid War of 1578 to 1590. By 1607, it was again put under Iranian control. In 1604 Baku fortress was destroyed by Shah Abbas I r. 1588 Baku is noted for being a focal point for traders from all across the world during the early modern period, commerce was active and the area was prosperous. Notably, traders from the Indian subcontinent established themselves in the region. These Indian traders built the Ateshga of Baku during 17th 18th centuries. The temple was used as a Hindu, Sikh, and Parsi place of worship. <laughs> <laughs> Downfall of the Safavids and the Khanate of Baku In the wake of the demise of the Safavids, the Russians took advantage of the situation and invaded. The Safavids were forced to cede Baku to Russia for a few years. By 1730, the situation had deteriorated for the Russians. The successes of Nader Shah r. 1736 to 1747 forced them to make an agreement near Ganja on the 10th of March 1735, ceding the city and all other conquered territories in the Caucasus back to Iran. The eruption of instability following Nader Shah's death gave rise to the various Caucasian Khanates. The semi-autonomous Persian-ruled Baku Khanate was one of these. It was ruled by Mirza Muhammad Khan but soon became a dependency of the much stronger Kuba Khanate. During this time, the population of Baku was small approximately 5, 000, and the economy was ruined as a result of constant warfare. <inaudible> <inaudible> Russo-Persian Wars and Iran's forced seating From the late 18th century, Imperial Russia switched to a more aggressive geopolitical stance towards its two neighbors and rivals to the south, namely Iran and the Ottoman Empire. In the spring of 1796, by Catherine II's order, General Valerian Zubov's troops started a large campaign against Qajar Persia. Zubov had sent 13,000 men to capture Baku, and it was overrun subsequently without any resistance. On 13 June 1796, a Russian flotilla entered Baku Bay, and a garrison of Russian troops was placed inside the city. Later, however, Pavel I ordered the cessation of the campaign and the withdrawal of Russian forces following his predecessor, Catherine the Great's death. In March 1797, the Tsarist troops left Baku and the city became part of Qajar Iran again. In 1813, following the Russo-Persian War of 1804–1813, Qajar Iran was forced to sign the Treaty of Gulistan with Russia, which provided for the irrevocable cession of Baku and most of Iran's territories in the North Caucasus and South Caucasus to Russia. During the next and final bout of hostilities between the two, the Russo-Persian War of 1826–1828, Baku was briefly recaptured by the Iranians. 
However, militarily superior, the Russians ended this war in a victory as well, and the resulting Treaty of Turkmenche made its inclusion into the Russian Empire definite. When Baku was occupied by the Russian troops during the War of 1804–13, nearly the entire population of some 8,000 people was ethnic Tat. Topic. Discovery of oil Drilling for oil began in the mid-1800s, with the first oil well drilled in the Bibi Haybat suburb of Baku in 1846. It was mechanically drilled, though a number of hand-dug wells predate it. Large-scale oil exploration started in 1872 when Russian imperial authorities auctioned the parcels of oil-rich land around Baku to private investors. The pioneer of oil extracting from the bottom of the sea was Polish geologist Witold Glenitsky. Soon after that Swiss, British, French, Belgian, German, Swedish and American investors appeared in Baku. Among them were the firms of the Nobel brothers together with the family von Borzel Schutz Karl Knut Borzel, who also owned the Livadia Palace and the Rothschild family. An industrial oil belt, better known as Black City, was established near Baku. Professor A. V. Williams Jackson of Columbia University wrote in his work From Constantinople to the Home of Omar Khayyam 1911, Baku is a city founded upon oil, for to its inexhaustible founts of naphtha it owes its very existence, its maintenance, its prosperity. At present Baku produces one-fifth of the oil that is used in the world, and the immense output in crude petroleum from this single city far surpasses that in any other district where oil is found. Verily, the words of the scriptures find illustration here, the rock poured me out rivers of oil. Oil is in the air one breathes, in one's nostrils, in one's eyes, in the water of the morning bath though not in the drinking water, for that is brought in bottles from distant mineral springs, in one's starched linen, everywhere. This is the impression one carries away from Baku, and it is certainly true in the environs. By the beginning of the 20th century, half of the oil sold in international markets was being extracted in Baku. The oil boom contributed to the massive growth of Baku. Between 1856 and 1910 Baku's population grew at a faster rate than that of London, Paris or New York. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War I In 1917, after the October Revolution and amidst the turmoil of World War I and the breakup of the Russian Empire, Baku came under the control of the Baku Commune, which was led by veteran Bolshevik Stepan Shahumyan. Seeking to capitalize on the existing inter-ethnic conflicts, by spring 1918, Bolsheviks inspired and condoned civil warfare in and around Baku. During the infamous March days, Bolsheviks and Dashniks seeking to establish control over Baku streets, were faced with armed Azerbaijani groups. The Azerbaijanis suffered a crushing defeat by the United Forces of Baku Soviet and were massacred by Dashnik teams in what was called March days. An estimated 3–12,000 Azerbaijanis were killed in their own capital. After the massacre, on 28 May 1918, the Azerbaijani faction of the Transcaucasian Saim proclaimed the independence of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic in Ganja, thereby becoming the first Muslim-majority democratic and secular republic. The newly independent Azerbaijani Republic, being unable to defend the independence of the country on their own, asked the Ottoman Empire for military support in accordance with Clause 4 of the treaty between the two countries. Shortly after, Azerbaijani forces, with support of the Ottoman Army of Islam led by Nuru Pasha, started their advance onto Baku, eventually capturing the city from the loose coalition of Bolsheviks, Essars, Dashniks, Mensheviks and British forces under the command of General Lionel Dunsterville on 15 September 1918. After the Battle of Baku, the Azerbaijani irregular troops, with the tacit support of the Turkish command, conducted four days of pillaging and killing of 10–30,000 of the Armenian residents of Baku. This pogrom was known as the September Days. Shortly after this Baku was proclaimed the new capital of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. With Turkey having lost the war by October 1918 they conducted the Armistice of Mudros with the British which meant Baku was to be evacuated. Headed by General William Thompson, British troops of 5,000 soldiers, including parts of Dunsterforce, arrived in Baku on 17 November. Thompson declared himself military governor of Baku and implemented martial law on the capital until the civil power would be strong enough to release the forces from the responsibility to maintain the public order. 
British forces left before the end of 1919 having felt they had done so. <inaudible> Soviet period The independence of the Azerbaijani Republic was significant but a short-lived chapter. On 28 April 1920, the 11th Red Army invaded Baku and reinstalled the Bolsheviks, making Baku the capital of the Azerbaijan Soviet Socialist Republic. The city underwent many major changes. As a result, Baku played a great role in many branches of the Soviet life. Since about 1921, the city was headed by Baku City Executive Committee, commonly known in Russian as Bagorispolkom. Together with Baku Party Committee known as the Baksovet, it developed the economic significance of the Caspian metropolis. From 1922 to 1930, Baku was the venue for one of the major trade fairs of the Soviet Union, serving as a commercial bridgehead to Iran and the Middle East. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II Baku's growing importance as a major energy hub remained in sight of the major powers. During World War II and the Nazi German invasion of the southwestern Soviet Union, Baku had become of vital strategic importance. In fact, capturing the oil fields of Baku was one of the ultimate goals of Operation Edelweiss, carried out between May and November 1942. However, the German army's closest approach to Baku was no closer than some 530 kilometers (329 miles) northwest of Baku in November 1942, falling far short of the city's capture before being driven back during the Soviet Operation Little Saturn in mid-December 1942. Topic: <laughs> Fall of the Soviet Union and later After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Baku embarked on a process of restructuring on a scale unseen in its history. Thousands of buildings from the Soviet period were demolished to make way for a green belt on its shores, parks and gardens were built on the land reclaimed by filling up the beaches of the Baku Bay. Improvements were made in the general cleaning, maintenance, and garbage collection, and these services are now at Western European standards. The city is growing dynamically and developing at full speed on an east-west axis along the shores of the Caspian Sea. Sustainability has become a key factor in future urban development. Geography Baku is situated on the western coast of Caspian Sea. In the vicinity of the city there are a number of mud volcanoes Kiraki, Bogok Bogoka, Lokbatan and others and salt lakes Boyukshor, Kadasan and so on. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. Baku has a temperate semi-arid climate, Köppen climate classification, BSK, with hot and humid summers, cool and occasionally wet winters and strong winds all year long. However, unlike many other cities with such climate features, Baku does not see extremely hot summers. This is largely because of its northerly latitude and the fact that it is located on a peninsula on the shore of the Caspian Sea. Baku and the Absharan Peninsula on which it is situated, is the most arid part of Azerbaijan precipitation here is around or less than 200 mm a year. The majority of the light annual precipitation occurs in seasons other than summer, but none of these seasons are particularly wet. During Soviet times, Baku with its long hours of sunshine and dry healthy climate, was a vacation destination where citizens could enjoy beaches or relax in now dilapidated spa complexes overlooking the Caspian Sea. The city's past as a Soviet industrial center has left it as one of the most polluted cities in the world. At the same time, Baku is noted as a very windy city throughout the year, hence the city's nickname, the City of Winds, and gale force winds. The cold northern wind Khazri and the warm southern wind Gilavar are typical here in all seasons. Indeed, the city is renowned for its fierce winter snow storms and harsh winds. The speed of the Khazri sometimes reaches 144 km per hour, 89 miles per hour which can cause damage to crops, trees and roof tiles. The daily mean temperature in July and August averages 26.4 degrees Celsius .5 degrees Fahrenheit, and there is very little rainfall during that season. During summer the Khazri sweeps through, bringing desired coolness. Winter is cool and occasionally wet, with the daily mean temperature in January and February averaging 4.3 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit. 
During winter the Khosri sweeps through, driven by polar air masses, temperatures on the coast frequently drop below freezing and make it feel bitterly cold. Winter snow storms are occasional, snow usually melts within a few days after each snowfall. Administrative divisions Today, Baku is divided into 12 rayonler administrative districts and five settlements of city type. Demographics Until 1988 Baku had very large Russian, Armenian, and Jewish populations which contributed to cultural diversity and added in various ways music, literature, architecture and progressive outlook to Baku's history. With the onset of the Karabakh War and the pogrom against Armenians starting in January 1990, the city's large Armenian population was expelled. Under communism, the Soviets took over the majority of Jewish property in Baku and Cuba. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Azerbaijani President Haider Aliyev returned several synagogues and a Jewish college, nationalized by the Soviets, to the Jewish community. He encouraged the restoration of these buildings and is well liked by the Jews of Azerbaijan. Renovation has begun on seven of the original eleven synagogues, including the Gila Synagogue, built in 1896, and the large Krui Synagogue. Ethnic <inaudible> groups <inaudible> <inaudible> Today the vast majority of the population of Baku are ethnic Azerbaijanis more than 90%. When Baku was occupied by the Russian troops during the War of 1804–13, nearly the entire population of some 8,000 people was ethnic Tat. The intensive growth of the population started in the middle of the 19th century when Baku was a small town with a population of about 7,000 people. The population increased again from about 13,000 in the 1860s to 112,000 in 1897 and 215,000 in 1913, making Baku the largest city in the Caucasus region. Baku has been a cosmopolitan city at certain times during its history, meaning ethnic Azerbaijanis did not constitute the majority of population. In 2003 Baku additionally had 153,400 internally displaced persons and 93,400 refugees. Religion The urban landscape of Baku is shaped by many communities. The religion with the largest community of followers is Islam. The majority of the Muslims are Shia Muslims, and the Republic of Azerbaijan has the second highest Shia population percentage in the world after Iran. The city's notable mosques include Juma Mosque, Bibi Haybat Mosque, Muhammad Mosque and Taza Pir Mosque. There are some other faiths practiced among the different ethnic groups within the country. By Article 48 of its constitution, Azerbaijan is a secular state and ensures religious freedom. Religious minorities include Russian Orthodox Christians, Catholic Levantines, Georgian Orthodox Christians, Lutherans, Ashkenazi Jews and Sufi Muslims. Zoroastrianism, although extinct in the city as well as in the rest of the country by the present time, had a long history in Azerbaijan and the Zoroastrian New Year continues to be the main holiday in the city as well as in the rest of Azerbaijan. Economy. Baku's largest industry is petroleum, and its petroleum exports make it a large contributor to Azerbaijan's balance of payments. The existence of petroleum has been known since the 8th century. In the 10th century, the Arabian traveler, Maradi, reported that both white and black oil were being extracted naturally from Baku. By the 15th century, oil for lamps was obtained from hand-dug surface wells. Commercial exploitation began in 1872, and by the beginning of the 20th century the Baku oil fields were the largest in the world. Towards the end of the 20th century much of the onshore petroleum had been exhausted, and drilling had extended into the sea offshore. By the end of the 19th century skilled workers and specialists flocked to Baku. By 1900 the city had more than 3,000 oil wells, of which 2,000 were producing oil at industrial levels. Baku ranked as one of the largest centers for the production of oil industry equipment before World War II. The World War II Battle of Stalingrad was fought to determine who would have control of Baku oil fields. 
Fifty years before the battle, Baku produced half of the world's oil supply. Currently, the oil economy of Baku is undergoing a resurgence, with the development of the massive Azeri Chirag Gunishli field, shallow water Gunashli by Sokar, deeper areas by a consortium led by BP, development of the Shah Deniz gas field, the expansion of the Sangachal terminal, and the construction of the BTC pipeline. The Baku Stock Exchange is Azerbaijan's largest stock exchange, and largest in the Caucasian region by market capitalization. A relatively large number of transnational companies are headquartered in Baku. One of the more prominent institutions headquartered in Baku is the International Bank of Azerbaijan, which employs over 1,000 people. International banks with branches in Baku include HSBC, Societe Generale and Credit Suisse. Topic. Tourism and shopping Baku is one of the most important tourist destinations in the Caucasus, with hotels in the city earning 7 million euros in 2009. Many sizable world hotel chains have a presence in the city. Baku has many popular tourist and entertainment spots, such as the downtown Fountain Square, the One and Thousand Nights Beach, Shikov Beach and Oil Rocks. Baku's vicinities feature Yanar Dag, an ever-blazing spot of natural gas. On 2 September 2010, with the inauguration of National Flag Square, Baku became home to the world's tallest flagpole, according to the Guinness Book of Records. However, on 24 May 2011 Baku lost this record by just 3 metres feet to the city of Dushanbe in Tajikistan. As of October 2017, the flag pole is dismantled and the national flag square closed with fences. Baku has several shopping malls. The most famous city center malls are Park Boulevard, Genklik Mall, Metro Park, 28 Mall, Agun City and AF Mall. The retail areas contain shops from chain stores up to high-end boutiques. The city is listed 48th in the 2011 list of the most expensive cities in the world conducted by the Mercer Human Resource Consulting. Its Nizami Street is one of the most expensive streets in the world. Topic: Culture. The city has many amenities that offer a wide range of cultural activities, drawing both from a rich local dramatic portfolio and an international repertoire. It also boasts many museums such as Baku Museum of Modern Art and Azerbaijan State Museum of History, most notably featuring historical artifacts and art. Many of the city's cultural sites were celebrated in 2009 when Baku was designated an Islamic culture capital. Baku was also chosen to host the Eurovision Dance Contest 2010. In 2007 the Haider Aliyev Cultural Center was opened. Theatres Azerbaijan State Academic Opera and Ballet Theatre Azerbaijan State Academic Drama Theatre Azerbaijan State Russian Drama Theatre named after Samad Vergun Baku Puppet Theatre formerly Azerbaijan State Puppet Theatre named after Abdullah Sheikh Azerbaijan State Theatre of Young Spectators Azerbaijan State Theatre of Musical Comedy Baku State Circus, Oda Theater, Icherisheher Marionette Theater, Baku Municipal Theater, Azerbaijan State Pantomime Theater, Mugham Azerbaijan National Music Theater, Azerbaijan State Theater of Song named after Rashid Bebudov, UNS Theater, U. Theatrimung Baku's prestigious cultural venues are Azerbaijan State Philharmonic Hall, Azerbaijan State Academic Opera and Ballet Theatre. The main movie theatre is Azerbaijan Cinema. Festivals include Baku International Film Festival, Baku International Jazz Festival, Novruz Festival, Gul Bayarami Flower Festival and the National Theatre Festival. International and local exhibitions are presented at the Baku Expo Centre. As of 2012, the city along with Ganja and Lankaran participates in Earth Hour movement. Museums in Baku Architecture Baku has wildly varying architecture, ranging from the old city core to modern buildings and the spacious layout of Baku port. 
Many of the city's most impressive buildings were built during the early 20th century, when architectural elements of the European styles were combined in eclectic style. Baku has an original and unique appearance, earning it a reputation as the Paris of the East. Hammams The hammam tradition in Baku is interesting. There are a number of ancient hammams in Baku dating back to the 12th, 14th and 18th centuries. Hammams play a very important role in the architectural appearance of Baku. Tizay Bay Hammam Tizay Bay is the most popular hammam traditional bath in Baku. It was built in 1886 in the center of Baku and in 2003 it was fully restored and modernized. Along with its modern amenities, Tizay Bay features a swimming pool and architectural details inspired by Oriental, Russian and Finnish baths. Gum Hammam Gum Hammam was discovered during archaeological excavations underneath the sand, hence the name, Gum Hammam sand bath. It was built sometime during the 12th-14th centuries. Baramali Hammam In ancient times Baramali Hammam was called Bay Hammam. The original structure was built sometime during the 12th-14th centuries and was reconstructed in 1881. Aga Mikhail Hammam Aga Mikhail Hammam was constructed in the 18th century by Haji Aga Mikhail on Kichik Gala Street in the Old City It is still operating in its ancient setting. The Hammam is open to women on Mondays and Fridays and to men on the other days of the week. Topic modern architecture Late modern and postmodern architecture began to appear in the early 2000s. With economic development, old buildings such as Atlant House were raised to make way for new ones. Buildings with all glass shells have appeared around the city, the most prominent examples being the Azerbaijan Tower, Haider Aliyev Cultural Center, Flame Towers, Baku Crystal Hall, Baku White City and Sokar Tower. These projects also caught the attention of international media as notable programs such as Discovery Channel's Extreme Engineering did pieces focusing in on changes to the city. The Old City of Baku, also known as the Walled City of Baku, refers to the ancient Baku settlement. Most of the walls and towers, strengthened after the Russian conquest in 1806, survived. This section is picturesque, with its maze of narrow alleys and ancient buildings, the cobbled streets past the palace of the Shervanches, two caravansaries, the Baths and the Juma Mosque which used to house the Azerbaijan National Carpet and Arts Museum but is now a mosque again. The old town core also has dozens of small mosques, often without any particular sign to distinguish them as such. In 2003, UNESCO placed the inner city on the list of world heritage in danger, citing damage from a November 2000 earthquake, poor conservation as well as dubious restoration efforts. In 2009 the inner city was removed from the list of world heritage in danger. Topic music and media The music scene in Baku can be traced back to ancient times and villages of Baku, generally revered as the fountainhead of Meikhana and Mugham in the Azerbaijan. In recent years, the success of Azerbaijani performers such as Isel, Farid Mamadov, Sabina Babayeva, Sephora, and Elnur Husainov in the Eurovision Song Contest has significantly boosted the profile of Baku's music scene, prompting international attention. Following the victory of Azerbaijan's representative Eldar and Nigar at the Eurovision Song Contest 2011, Baku hosted the Eurovision Song Contest 2012.2005 was a landmark in the development of Azerbaijani jazz in the city. It has been home to legendary jazz musicians like Vajif Mustafazadeh, Aziza Mustafa Zadeh, Rafik Babayev and Rain Sultanov. Among Baku's prominent annual fairs and festivals is Baku International Jazz Festival, which features some of the world's most identifiable jazz names. Baku also has a thriving international center of Mugham, which is located in Baku Boulevard, Gulistan Palace, and Buddha Palace, one of the principal performing arts centers and music venues in the city. The majority of Azerbaijan's media companies, including television, newspaper, and radio, such as Azad Azerbaijan TV, Iktamai TV, Leader TV, and Region TV are headquartered in Baku. 
The films The World Is Not Enough and The Diamond Arm are set in the city, while Amphibian Man includes several scenes filmed in Old City. Out of the city's radio stations, Iktamai Radio, Radio Anten, Burke FM, Avtu FM, Asan Radio and Leader FM Jazz are some of the more influential competitors with large national audiences. Some of the most influential Baku newspapers include the Daily Azadlik, Zaman, The Time, Bakingski Rabochi, Baku Worker, Echo, and the English language Baku Today. Baku is also featured in the video game Battlefield 4. Topic nightlife Baku boasts a vibrant nightlife. Many clubs that are open until dawn can be found throughout the city. Clubs with an eastern flavor provide special treats from the cuisine of Azerbaijan along with local music. Western-style clubs target younger, more energetic crowds. Most of the public houses and bars are located near Fountain Square and are usually open until the early hours of the morning. Baku is home to restaurants catering to every cuisine and occasion. Restaurants range from luxurious and expensive to ordinary and affordable. In The Lonely Planet, 1,000 Ultimate Experiences, Baku placed eighth among the top ten party cities in the world. Topic. Parks and gardens Baku has large sections of greenery either preserved by the national government or designated as green zones. The city, however, continues to lack a green belt development as economic activity pours into the capital, resulting in massive housing projects along the suburbs. Baku Boulevard is a pedestrian promenade that runs parallel to Baku's seafront. The boulevard contains an amusement park, yacht club, musical fountain, statues and monuments. The park is popular with dog walkers and joggers, and is convenient for tourists. It is adjacent to the newly built International Center of Mugham and the musical fountain. Other prominent parks and gardens include Haider Aliyev Park, Samad Vergun Park, Narimanov Park, Ali of Honor and the Fountain Square. The Martyrs Lane, formerly the Kirov Park, is dedicated to the memory of those who lost their lives during the Nagorno-Karabakh War and also to the 137 people killed on Black January. Sports Baku hosts a Formula One race on the Baku city circuit. The first was the 2016 European Grand Prix. The city will also host three group games and one quarterfinal of the UEFA Euro 2020 European Football Championship. Since 2002, Baku has hosted 36 major sporting events and selected to host the 2015 European Games. Baku is also to host the fourth edition of the Islamic Solidarity Games in 2017. Baku is also one of world's leading chess centers, having produced famous grandmasters like Timur Radjabov, Vugar Gashimov, Garry Kasparov, Sharyar Mamadyarov and Rauf Mamadov, as well as the arbiter Faik Hasanov. The city also annually hosts the international tournaments such as Baku Chess Grand Prix, President's Cup, Baku Open and currently bidding to host 42nd Chess Olympiad in 2014. First class sporting facilities were built for the indoor games, including the Palace of Hand Games and Haider Aliyev Sports and Exhibition Complex. It hosted many sporting events, including FIFA U-17 Women's World Cup, Rhythmic Gymnastics European Championships in 2007 and 2009, 2005 World Rhythmic Gymnastics Championships, 2007 FILA Wrestling World Championships and 2010 European Wrestling Championships, 2011 World Amateur Boxing Championships, 2009 Women's Challenge Cup and European Taekwondo Championships in 2007. Since 2011 the city annually hosts WTA tennis event called Baku Cup. The Synergy Baku Cycling Project participates in the Tour d'Azerbaijan a 2.2 multi-stage bicycle race on the UCI Europe Tour. Baku made a bid to host the 2016 Summer Olympics and 2020 Summer Olympics, but failed to become a candidate city both times. The largest sport hub in the city is Baku Olympic Stadium with 68,700 seating capacity whose construction was completed in 2015. The city's three main football clubs are Nefchi Baku, Inter Baku and Karabag FK of whom first has eight Premier League titles making Nefchi the most successful Azerbaijani football club. Baku also has several football clubs in the Premier and Regional Leagues, including AZAL and Ravan in Premier League. The city's second largest stadium, Tofik Baramov Stadium hosts a number of domestic and international competitions and was the main sports centre of the city for a long period until the construction of Baku Olympic Stadium. 
In the Azerbaijan Women's Volleyball Super League, Baku is represented by Rabita Baku, Azerail Baku, Lokomotiv Baku and Azerail Baku. Transport Throughout history the transport system of Baku used the now defunct horse cars, trams and narrow gauge railways. As of 2011, 1,000 black cabs are ordered by Baku Taxi Company, and as part of a program originally announced by the Transport Ministry of Azerbaijan, there is a plan to introduce London cabs into Baku. The move was part of £16 million agreement between Manganese Bronze subsidiary LTI Limited and Baku Taxi Company. Local rail transport includes the Baku Funicular and the Baku Metro, a rapid transit system notable for its art, murals, mosaics, and ornate chandeliers. Baku Metro was opened in November 1967 and includes three lines and 25 stations at present. 170 million people used Baku Metro over the past five years. In 2008, the chief of Baku Metro, Taghi Ermadov, announced plans to construct 41 new stations over the next 17 years. These will serve the new bus complex as well as the international airport. Bakacard is a single smart card for payment on all types of city transport. The intercity buses and metro use this type of card based fare payment system. Baku's central railway station is the terminus for national and international rail links to the city. The Kars Tbilisi Baku Railway, which directly connects Turkey, Georgia, and Azerbaijan, began to be constructed in 2007 and opened in 2017. The completed branch will connect Baku with Tbilisi in Georgia, and from there trains will continue to Akalkalaki, and cars in Turkey. Sea transport is vital for Baku, as the city is practically surrounded by the Caspian Sea to the east. Shipping services operate regularly from Baku across the Caspian Sea to Turkmenbashi formerly Krasnavads in Turkmenistan and to Bundar Anzali and Bundar Naushare in Iran. The commuter ferries, along with the high-speed catamaran sea bus Deniz Avtobusu, also form the main connection between the city and the Absharan Peninsula. Baku port was founded in 1902 and since then has been the largest Caspian Sea port. It has six facilities, the main cargo terminal, the container terminal, the ferry terminal, the oil terminal, the passenger terminal and the port fleet terminal. The port's throughput capacity reaches 15 million tons of liquid bulk and up to 10 million tons of dry cargoes. Beginning in 2010, the Baku International Sea Trade Port is being reconstructed. The construction will take place in three stages and will be completed by 2016. The estimated costs are $400 million. From April to November Baku port is accessible to ships loading cargoes for direct voyages from Western European and Mediterranean ports. The State Road M1 and the European Route E60 are the two main motorway connections between Europe and Azerbaijan. The motorway network around Baku is well developed and is constantly being extended. The Haider Aliyev International Airport is the only commercial airport serving Baku. The new Baku cargo terminal was officially opened in March 2005. It was constructed to be a major cargo hub in the CIS countries and is actually now one of the biggest and most technically advanced in the region. There are also several smaller military airbases near Baku, such as Baku Kala Air Base, intended for private aircraft, helicopters and charters. Education <inaudible> 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 Baku hosts many universities, junior colleges and vocational schools. Baku State University, the first established university in Azerbaijan was opened in 1919 by the government of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. In the early years of the Soviet era, Baku already had Azerbaijan State Oil Academy, Azerbaijan Medical University and Azerbaijan State Economic University. In the post-World War II period, a few more universities were established such as Azerbaijan Technical University, Azerbaijan University of Languages and the Azerbaijan Architecture and Construction University. After 1991 when Azerbaijan gained independence from the Soviet Union, the fall of communism led to the development of a number of private institutions, including Kafkaz University and Hazar University which are currently considered the most prestigious academic institutions. Apart from the private universities, the government established the Academy of Public Administration, the Azerbaijan Diplomatic Academy and various military academies. 
The largest universities according to the student population are Baku State University and Azerbaijan State Economic University. In addition, there are the Baku Music Academy and the Azerbaijan National Conservatoire in Baku established in the early 1920s. Publicly run kindergartens and elementary schools years 1 through 11 are operated by local wards or municipal offices. The Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, the main state research organization in Azerbaijan is locating in Baku as well. Moreover, Baku has numerous libraries, many of which contain vast collections of historic documents from the Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman and Soviet periods, as well as from other civilizations of the past. The most important libraries in terms of historic document collections include the Nizami Museum of Azerbaijan Literature, the National Library of Azerbaijan, the Mirza Alakbar Central Library, the Samad Vergun Library and Baku Presidential Library. Health care The city has many public and private hospitals, clinics and laboratories within its bounds and numerous medical research centers. Many of these facilities have high technology equipment, which has contributed to the recent upsurge in medical tourism to Baku, particularly from post-Soviet countries such as Georgia and Moldova, whose governments send lower-income patients to the city for inexpensive high-tech medical treatments and operations. Notable residents Because of its intermittent periods of great prosperity as well as being the largest city in the Caucasus and one of the most ethnically and culturally diverse in the Soviet Union, Baku prides itself on having produced a disproportionate number of notable figures in the sciences, arts and other fields. Some of the houses they resided in display commemorative plaques. Some of the many prestigious residents include, Academy Award winners Rustam Ibrahimbayev and Vladimir Menshov, one of the founders and head of the Soviet space program Karim Karimov, Nobel Prize winner and physicist Lev Landau and famous musicians such as Gera Garayev, Uzeyir Hajibayev, Muslim Magomayev, Vajif Mustafazadeh and Alim Gazimov. World-famous cellist M. S. Tislav Rostropovich was born and raised in Baku, as was world-famous chess player, Garry Kasparov. International relations Twin towns and sister cities Baku is twinned with, in chronological order Partner cities Aberdeen, Scotland Berlin, Germany Mainz, Germany Stavanger, Norway partnership relations also exist at different levels with, Paris, Vienna, Tbilisi, Astana, Minsk, Moscow, Volgograd, Kizilyar, Tashkent and Chengdu. Gallery See also 1920 Baku Congress Administrative divisions of Azerbaijan Ateshga of Baku Ganja List of cities in Azerbaijan Mingachever Nakhchivan Sumgate References External links UNESCO, ICOMOS the 29th of April 2003 Joint UNESCO ICOMOS Mission to the Walled City of Baku. PDF. UNESCO ICOMOS. Baku's profile at the Organization of World Heritage Cities website. UNESCO World Heritage Site listing Walled City of Baku. Photos of Baku. Trip to Azerbaijan.